Welcome to a lesson on the Banzhoff Power Index. In this lesson, we'll define the Banzhoff Power Index and also find the Banzhoff Power Index for a weighted voting system. The Banzhoff Power Index was originally created in 1946 by Lionel Penrose, but was reintroduced by John Banzhoff in 1965. The Power Index is a numerical way of looking at power in a weighted voting system. To calculate the Banzhoff Power Index, number one, we want to find or list the winning coalitions. Two, in each winning coalition, we want to identify the players who are critical. Three, we want to count how many times each player is critical. And then finally, number four, we want to convert these counts to fractions, decimals, or percentages by dividing by the total number of times any player is critical. Let's look at an example. We want to find the Banzhoff Power Index for the weighted voting system given here. So we want to begin by listing the winning coalitions, but to do this, we'll list all the coalitions and then find which coalitions are winning coalitions. Notice how in this case, though, we don't have to list one player coalitions because we don't have any dictators or any players that have a weight that's greater than or equal to the quota here, which is 16. So let's begin by listing the two player coalitions, which we see here. We have player one and player two, player one and player three, player one and player four, player two and player three, player two and player four, and player three and player four. Let's find the total weight of these coalitions to determine which are winning coalitions. For our first coalition, the total weight would be 12 plus six or 18. So this is a winning coalition. Next we have player one and player three, that would be 12 plus four, which is equal to 16. This also meets quota. Next we have player one and player four, that would be 12 plus two, or 14. This is not a winning coalition. Next we have player two and player three, that would be six plus four, or a weight of 10 which again does not meet quota. Player two and player four would have a weight of six plus two or eight, which does not meet quota. And then finally player three and player four would have a weight of four plus two or six, which does not meet quota. So we only have two two player winning coalitions. So we'll come back to these. Now let's find the three player and four player winning coalitions. There are four possible three player coalitions and only one four player coalition. The four three player coalitions are players one, two, and three, then players one, two, and four, then players one, three, and four, and players two, three, and four. Let's determine which of these are winning coalitions. Players one, two, and three would have a combined weight of 12 plus six plus four, which is equal to 22, which meets quota. So we have a winning coalition here. Next players one, two, and four, the weight would be 12 plus six plus two, which is 20, which meets quota. We have a winning coalition. Next players one, three, and four, we'd have 12 plus four plus two, which equals 18, that meets quota. Players two, three, and four, that would be six plus four plus two, which is 12, which does not meet quota. And the coalition of all four players would meet quota, 12 plus six plus four plus two, is equal to 24, which of course does meet quota. If any three player coalition meets quota, of course this four player coalition would also have to meet quota. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six winning coalitions, which we have listed here. Now we'll go through and determine which players are critical in each winning coalition. So for player one and player two, if player one leaves the coalition, the weight is six, which doesn't meet quota, which means player one is critical. So underlining it in red means that it's critical. If player two leaves the coalition, we have 
a weight of 12, which does not meet quota. Player 2 is critical. Next, we have the winning coalition of player 1 and player 3. If player 1 leaves, the remaining weight would be 4, which does not meet quota, so player 1 is critical again. If player 3 leaves, the weight would be 12, which does not meet quota, so player 3 is critical. For the coalition with players 1, 2, and 3, if 1 leaves, we're left with player 2 and 3 that have a weight of 10, which does not meet quota. Once again, player 1 is critical. Player 2 leaves, the weight would be 12 plus 4, which is 16, which does meet quota, so player 2 is not critical. If player 3 leaves, the remaining weight would be 12 plus 6, or 18, which does meet quota, therefore player 3 is not critical. Next, we have players 1, 2, and 4. If player 1 leaves, we're left with player 2 and 4, they would have a weight of 6 plus 2, or 8. Player 1 is critical. Player 2 leaves, we have player 1 and player 4 that have a combined weight of 14, which does not meet quota, and therefore player 2 is critical. If player 4 leaves, the remaining weight would be 12 plus 6 or 18, which does meet quota. Player 4 is not critical. Moving along to the winning coalition of players 1, 3, and 4. If 1 leaves, players 3 and 4 have a weight of 6, which does not meet quota. Player 1 is critical. If player 3 leaves, we're left with player 1 and player 4 with a combined weight of 14, does not meet quota. Therefore, player 3 is critical. If player 4 leaves, we have player 1 and 3 that have a combined weight of 16. Notice it's 12 plus 4, which does still meet quota, so player 4 is not critical. And then for the last winning coalition that contains all four players, if player 1 leaves, we're left with a weight of 6 plus 4 plus 2, it's 12. That does not meet quota. Player 1 is critical. If player 2 leaves, we're left with a weight of 12 plus 4 plus 2, that would be 18, which does meet quota. Player 2 is not critical. If player 3 leaves, we're left with a weight of 12 plus 6 plus 2, or 20, which does meet quota. Player 3 is not critical. And finally, player 4, if player 4 leaves, we have a weight of 12 plus 6 plus 4, which does meet quota. Player 4 is not critical. Now to find the Bonzoff power index, we'll first count the number of times each player is critical. So player 1 is critical 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Player 2 is critical one, two times. Player three is critical one, two times. And player four is critical zero times. Now we'll find the total number of times any player is critical. Six plus two plus two plus zero would be 10. And therefore, to find the Banzhaf power index, or player one would be six divided by 10, or three-fifths, which would be 0 0.6, or 60%. For player two, the power index would be two divided by 10, or one-fifth, which is equal to 20%. And the same thing for player three, two divided by 10, or one-fifth, which is equal to 20%. Player four would just be zero, or zero percent. Looking at these numbers, notice how this tells us that player three has three times the voting power of player two and player three, but also notice that player two and player three have the same power index, which means they have the same voting power even though their weight in the voting system is different. Also recognize that P sub 1 has veto power and P sub 4 is a dummy player. I hope you found this helpful.